Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market prep video for August 4th, 2020. I'm still not used to saying August. Uh, <laughs> it's hard to believe we are already in August. What a crazy year we have had. So this morning, we are looking at a market that is, well, just a little bit uncertain just a tiny little bit uncertain with china overnight labeling the u.s as a rogue country and threatening retaliation and accusing the u.s of direct theft of chinese technology as the government clears the way for microsoft to buy tiktok wow um you cannot make this stuff up so <laughs> what does that mean for uh today and today's market well how about we settle in buckle up let's look at the technicals and see if we can figure out where this market is headed by based on that information let's prepare for the tuesday edition of the morning market prep video so this morning everyone it's a it's an interesting market to be sure first off we had a substantial rise in the market yesterday led basically by apple and microsoft it's a remarkable circumstance that we're dealing with right now with such large companies dominating the indexes um, we can literally move one or two companies and lift all of the indexes in the market. And that's essentially what happened yesterday. If we take a look at the Dow, we did rally up yesterday. We're challenging this downtrend line here in the chart. And if we, depends on how we draw this, we're still holding this uptrend. We, if we draw that tight, you can see we could be testing the break of that downtrend as support. And yet again, we are holding some price support here in the chart. So pretty interesting situation technically here in the diamonds, but there are some very bullish things here to uh, be made aware of. If we take a look at um, our moving averages, notice that the Dow 50 day moving average, which is that blue line, is rapidly rising into that 200 day. And I would expect a, um, that 50 day to cross over that 200 day here very, very soon. But this morning we're looking at a little bit of a take back. It's kind of what the market does here lately. We rally. We get a bump up and then we take it back. And we're seeing that in a lot of stocks that are just locked in consolidations. And one of the reasons that's occurring is because the absolute market breadth of the market breadth of the market continues to decline. If we take a look um, here at T2101, why we continue to rise in our indexes our absolute market breadth continues to decline sharply. Now, how much longer that can continue, I don't know. What it's showing us is that just a very small few of stocks are finding the love to push these indexes higher. And the fact that they are the giant techs with the ability to lift those indexes into new record highs, it's really interesting that we're not seeing um, a widespread uh, move to buy up the market. Kind of an interesting situation. So it's almost like a lot of folks have been kind of um, lulled to sleep, like there is no risk or fear here in the market. But I don't think that's true, and we should be watching this very carefully. Um, as we continue to push these markets higher let's take a look at the spy here real quickly spy beautiful chart here continuing to show lots of bullishness here in this chart breaking through resistance levels in the chart we still obviously have resistance in this chart to deal with up in here on that chart but right now all bulls all the time here in the market but once again we have that 
really major imbalance where it's just a few of the tech giants that are lifting this index to new highs while the majority of the stocks are just kind of drifting in a choppy sideways pattern. Makes you wonder how long that can continue and I honestly don't know. This is a dynamic that I have never experienced um, in the market with just such a few companies being able to lift the indexes. Um, right now, bullish trends, everything is in play here. Um, there's no reason to suspect in the price action that something is about to fall. But there is that in, you know, really odd dynamic going on here with gold, silver rising sharply, bonds continuing to move up. And uh, with, with the market, as we see that uh, breath continuing to decline. A very interesting dynamic and I'm not sure what that means for us overall in the market. Let's take a look at the Q's. QQQ continues to rise. New record highs in the NASDAQ led by Microsoft and Apple pushing things higher but we did get a few other companies trying to help out like Nvidia and things like that yesterday. Uh, Qualcomm but um, obviously um, very few companies of the NASDAQ are really experiencing the love that those big techs are experiencing right now. So we'll want to keep an eye on that. If they happen to find some profit taking, one has to wonder what's going to occur if uh, just a few of those big techs start to sell or profits um, start being pulled in on those trades. We'll have to watch that pretty closely. And then we have IWM. IWM um, is once again up here challenging its 500 day moving average. We have failed that before and we've been challenged by that 500, but we're starting to see just a little bit more bullishness here in the chart, trying to break through that resistance. So is it possible we could pop on up through there? Yeah, I think it's possible. We also wanna kinda of keep in mind that we are trying to break that downtrend here trying to hold that to that for that upside move and once again we've got that 50-day moving average rapidly rising up to possibly provide support underneath that 200 and even cross over soon so the pressure on these indexes continues to be up mostly by the the simple fact that those big tech giants continue to rise let's take a look at the VIX this is one thing that just causes me lots of confusion. And maybe it's not causing you the same, and it's okay that it's not. But for me, it just doesn't seem a normal circumstance to see markets reaching up for new record highs and the VIX remaining elevated here above a t uh, 24 handles. Um, and with the, the confidence that we seem to be having in the markets to rally it so hard, it's interesting that we are unable to hold a VIX move lower. We're continuing to hold this price support in here and yesterday's candle left behind is not exactly that warm and fuzzy we would like to see when we're making new record highs in the market. However, we do have to mention that we continue to show this decline. Pressure is uh, for that volume or that that fear to be dropping out of the market but there is a palpable uncertainty here um, that makes you just kind of scratch your head and wonder what happens if that next shoe drops and um, we see that spike in fear I don't know if that's coming or not but we do want to keep our eyes on the ball and not get complacent here in the market the overall market might be a little bit complacent we don't want to be complacent here if that does occur let's Let's take a look at T2122, which is the four week new high, new low ratio. And this is a great indicator. I have used this indicator for years and years and years to help me see when the market is either um, stretched to the upside or stretched to the downside. And I, I hate using the words overbought or oversold. I think those are way overused um, in the market, but it just shows us those conditions when we may have push the limit a little bit too far to the upside or the downside. And if we take a look at T2122 right now, you can see we pushed up yesterday, but we still have room to go to the upside. We've been holding up here pretty steadily um, in T2122 as those bulls continue to push those techs. 
Um, this morning, we're getting a little bit of a pullback um, in the market. Um, as I speak right now, Dow futures are now showing um, down 84 points. So a modest little decline here this morning. Nothing major, but we'll want to watch this um, if we continue to push up into um, this bearish reversal zone on T2122. However, the pullback today, it could certainly move us back down here toward that mid-range of the T2122, which gives us plenty of more upside room or obviously plenty of downside room if those bears decide to do something. But I got to tell you, the bears just don't seem to have any teeth at all in light of um, a stimulus package on the way and the massive interaction of the FOMC as we continue to pound money into the market to hold things up. So kind of an interesting, interesting situation here in the market. The bears just don't seem to have any energy and we seem to be running out of that bullish um, energy except for those very few uh, large text. So interesting situation to be sure in the market. Let's take a look at our economic calendar today and see if that helps us out with what's going on here in the market. We do have a couple of things we're going to want to pay attention to here today, but nothing that would really be substantial and move us around. Um, we had motor vehicle sales um, um, this morning and um, we're going to have factory orders this afternoon. Not likely that those are going to move us a tremendous amount. We'll just have to keep an eye on that as we progress throughout the day. More likely what's going to happen is we're going to focus on the earnings calendar. And that earnings calendar is pretty substantial today with over 200 companies reporting. Um, we're gonna hear from BP, British Petroleum. Um, they reported a loss, but as you can see, we're gapping higher um, on that news. Um, we have stocks like Allstate, that will be reporting today. Devon Energy, we got several um, several big oil uh, companies reporting today. Devon Energy will be reporting. We're gonna hear from the mobile gaming platform, GLUU. Looks like they're gapping a little bit higher this morning. Gaming has certainly been one of those really bright shining spots here in the Corona land market um, as a lot of folks are, are buying up those uh, products to, I guess, stay busy at home. And we've got um, a tree. Lending Tree, one of the stocks reporting today, looks like it's looking a little bit bearish this morning. Um, Life Person will be um, reporting today. We will also hear from uh, Laura, Ralph Loran and TWLO, which is another TWLO, which is another um, gaming platform that um, we want to pay attention to. They've been um, doing very, very well in um, um, the Corona, Corona land. And then also we're going to hear from Weight Watchers and we're going to hear from Win Casinos today. So just quite a few companies reporting. You'll want to keep your eyes on that as we progress throughout the day and um, talk about these companies. The big concern of the day is um, the possible threat from China. China has now declared the U.S. a rogue country and is threatening retaliation of the purchase of TikTok. As a matter of fact, they are calling it an outright theft of Chinese technology and are threatening retaliation. Um, kind of an interesting dilemma um, in the market here right now as these tensions between U.S. and China continue to grow and the complexity of this issue continues to um, and maybe weigh just a little bit on the market, place a little bit of uncertainty there on the market we're going to have to keep track of. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day, and I want to wish you great profits in your trading. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you guys could do me a favor, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that thumbs up or that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And I also want to ask you, if you got something out of this video, if you felt like it was worthy, if you could please click those thumbs up buttons and also leave a brief note that helps us 
continue to grow. And by the way, I just want to say thanks. I mentioned this yesterday, but um, having the channel go over 14,000 subscribers is way, way beyond what I ever expected um, could happen in YouTube. So I want to say thank you to everyone. You guys are awesome and truly, 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 I appreciate everything. Um, that you that you post uh, very very kind and I truly appreciate that this channel is about traders helping other traders and um, hopefully you see that in the content that um, I provide over there it's all about helping other people do a better job in their trading and um, be able to benefit from that um, possibility of making a a living in the market that I have been able to enjoy for the last 15 years full time. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. Um, before we do that, just a quick reminder that none of these stocks are a recommendation to buy or sell any security and that you have to do your own due diligence every time you put together a trade. Remember, um, trading is a very individual thing. Copying or following someone else's recommendation is not a great idea. You have to do your own work in that chart, making sure that at that trade fits you specifically. So with that in mind, let's take a look at a few things, um, a few charts that I'm kind of keeping an eye on. Um, one being um, Kimberly Clark. Kimberly Clark has been very, very strong. Good dividend payer. A strong company um, moving up through some resistance levels in the chart. And you can see we moved up pretty sharply, consolidating that move up here above that support. And as we slide over here toward this uh, trend, we want to be watching for that opportunity for Kimberly Clark to move on higher. Keep a close eye on that. We've seen some really, really good moves in uh, FedEx and UPS here lately as the country kind of shifts to just a online shopping as a major staple and as you can see um, we've got a pattern setting up here in FedEx where we broke through a resistance level in the chart let's pull that back this is a fairly substantial resistance level in the chart it goes way back here and as you can see we pop through there now we've pulled back a little bit. I want to be watching this area in here. If those bulls happen to push up in here in the next few days, popping through uh, my alert here in the chart, I might be interested in taking a shot here at FDX. So keep an eye on FDX. You could also take a look at UPS, which has held up really, really strongly after its earnings report, gapping up solidly and holding up. There's no sellers in here right now. This is blue sky highs for UPS. So watch that closely. Any consolidating rest or pullback in here could set up that next opportunity higher. Keep an eye on UPS. I'm also keeping an eye on utilities. It's interesting to me that we're seeing while we're racing into big tech, we're also seeing a lot of these conservative plays popping up here in the market. And XLU is one of those that I'm watching. XLU moving up in a nice little trend. We've got resistance above to deal with. Um, had a little down day on this yesterday. We could get a little bit more down day today with the pullback in the market. But let's watch this. If this really starts to pick up, it could be some of that shift. Folks are moving some toward um, those dividend payers, a little bit of a safe haven after such a massive rally in the market. We'll see, but keep a close eye on that we also have to keep a close eye and 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 not just uh this is just an interesting situation where we continue to devalue the u.s dollar at a at an incredible pace and um that continues to hold gold and silver those precious metals higher watch this here gold and silver continues to remain strong right now this morning it's indicating just a couple bucks higher per ounce on that uh, doesn't seem like there won't, there is any sellers here in the market and unfortunately i i ran this rally up 
and made really good money on it, but took the profits on that. And now I'm like a little bit in the regret situation that I would have held a little bit longer. I do want to see a rest or pullback in here before I catch that next entry into the trade. I'll be watching that closely though in gold. And um, we also have to mention uh, silver in that same vein. It's pretty darn strong um, overall. And I'm also watching, um, some copper plays um fcx is one that i traded and made some really nice money on over in here and as you can see it's just been kind of languishing around after breaking through some resistance it's being challenged in this area if that can continue to hold up i want to watch for that next opportunity for copper to maybe take off um, if gold and silver is going to continue higher, this is one of those industrial metals that can also move up pretty strongly. So we'll want to keep an eye on that. There's charts all over the place, potentially setting up in trades. We have John Deere continuing to set up here. It just um, refuses to um, uh, sell off at all. Nobody wants to turn loose a John Deere. It's going to report on 821. Let's watch for that, that opportunity that this may pop and move a little higher. Uh, Clorox continues to hold up gap down on an earnings report a little bit and now push back up and you can see Clorox trying to move higher this morning. Keep an eye on Clorox. Um, certainly holding up quite strong overall. So with that, everyone, hey, I'm running out of time. I want to wish you all a great day. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you got something out of these videos. I want to ask everyone to please just stay safe. COVID numbers really pulled back um, yesterday. We had a nice decrease in those COVID infection numbers, but we are a long ways from ending uh, this crisis. So be safe, be careful out there. Everyone take care, have a great day, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning.